Okay, we're recording. And uh, let's start with introductions. So just, um, since we don't have that many people, just tell us a little about yourself, how long you've been a coach, who your sponsor is, or your upline coaches. Um, we can start with you, Lynn. Hi, my name is Lynn Zyke. Um, I live in Charleston, South Carolina. Um, my upline coach is Christine Thorson. And I've been working out with Beachbody for about two years. Awesome. Welcome. Uh, and you, you said Christine Thorson. Thorson. Uh, who is she under, Brian? Do you know? I'm sorry. Who? Christine Thorson. I don't know. Uh, her, her, I know, like when I go into the office, like her, the one above her is Stephanie, somebody, and then Jason. Oh, okay. Jason Wagner. Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. So Jason is my personally sponsored coach. Okay. <laughs> so that's where I fall in the chain. Uh, so great, welcome. Um, Elizabeth, you wanna go next? Sure, I'm Elizabeth Northcutt and I live in Houston. And I have been a coach since, uh, just for a couple of months. I think I became a coach at the end of June, but, uh, had this big vacation planned and just said I wasn't going to do anything until after. So now here we are after. So I guess now I'm going to start doing it. Um, my upline coach is John Cantillo. Okay. Is that how you say it? I say it's Spanish, like in Spanish. But uh, And then um, I've been doing Beachbody off and on since 2002 with the very first Power 90 with the yellow wow. uh, cover. <laughs> and so, uh, it's so anyway. my time. Yeah. Yes. And I was actually looking for a hybrid type schedule. And that's how I found John. Yes. So I really started back at it in May. Yeah. He has an awesome website for hybrids. You know, that's mm -hmm. his niche. So, it's his specialty. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Okay. Uh, I say it tantil tantillo. That's the way I say it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I need to ask him, I guess. <laughs> yeah. All right. Ashley, do you want to go? Hi. Sorry, I have a fussy one here. <laughs> it's supper time. Um, hand them off to dad. Okay. Um, I'm Ashley. I live in Enid, Oklahoma. Um, just recently, about a month ago, I moved here for a job. I have been with Beachbody for, since middle of May, um, and just recently decided to be a coach about a month ago. Um, Brian is my upline coach, and I have two kids. Keep me okay. busy. Awesome. And where do you live? Oklahoma. Oklahoma. All right. Cool. All right, Kathy, you want to go? Um, I live in Hagerstown, Maryland. Awesome. Um, Brian is my coach. Um, I know, Greg, you're from Leesburg. I was actually born in Leesburg. Oh, yeah? I was there back when it was nothing but a little country hick town. Yeah. I've never heard of before. Um, I see, I became a coach. Uh, End of March of last year, ran into some obstacles. Currently dealing with the, uh, some obstacles, but I'm um, not letting them stop me or slow me down anymore. Awesome. So I'm doing this as a refresher. Good. Um, I actually, I've been in Leesburg for 25 years, but I grew up in Westminster, Maryland, which is not too far from Hagerstown. That's where my parents live. <laughs> So I, I had a best friend who was in Hagerstown, so I've, I've been up there plenty as, as well. So, so very cool. You should come, plan to come to our Super Saturday because we have the best Super Saturday in the region and it's September 23rd and we have tickets available. Um, special guest this time is going to be Melanie Mitro, the top coach in the entire network for the past three years in a row. So. Um, her and Josh Spencer, who is a John Maxwell leadership guru. So 
definitely plan to come. Get tickets. You know, if you need the site, I can give it to you. <laughs> All right, uh, Eugene, you want to go? Hi, I'm Gene Theobald. I also live in Houston, uh, actually southwest in Richmond. Uh, where do you live, Elizabeth? I live in Missouri City. In oh, CMC. okay. So we're not too far apart then. Yeah, yeah, we're very close. And uh, well, I've been doing beach body uh, workouts for oh gosh, ten years, I guess. And uh, do you remember I, the yellow cover P ninety? Oh yeah, yeah. I have mm -hmm. all that stuff. Okay. <laughs> yeah, actually, my brother, go? my brother got me started on it back uh, after I had uh, brain surgery, and uh, I've been doing it ever since. And then I had to have another surgery back in October, and that's how I got connected up with Greg, who's my uh, coach. And you, and you have another surgery coming up too, right? Uh, no, I'm getting ready to do chemo and radiation treatment. Oh, that sucks. Well, we wish you good luck. Yeah. Well, this is the best place to be if you have any kind of issue like that. <laughs> yeah, being in health and fitness and yeah, people who support you and motivate you. So just keep hanging, hanging with us. Yeah, I spend most of my time uh, dancing nowadays because I retired a couple years ago. Mm. Yep. Eugene is a professional dancer, right? No, I'm an amateur. <laughs> yeah, but you travel the world. You yeah, I travel around dancing, but I'm an amateur. <laughs> yeah, I call that a professional. <laughs> what kind of dance? Uh, it's ballroom. Yeah. Cool. Cool. All right. Thanks, Eugene. Um, Jen, you want to introduce yourself? Hey, guys. <laughs> Hello. You're not a new coach. Um, I know. <laughs> um, well, it's only like last year, early. Uh, so I, my name's Jennifer. I live in Grass Valley, California, which is kind of between Sacramento and Lake Tahoe. So Lake Tahoe is about an hour away from me. Um, Brian is my coach, and I started doing coaching seriously maybe a couple months ago. But all of a sudden, with the road to Emerald and the cup going on, uh, I started to feel really overwhelmed. So I made myself a schedule. Um, I tried it out this weekend, but I also felt like I'm kind of forgetting some of the basics. So I just wanted to get in tonight and be reminded of some very basic stuff. Awesome. Well, thanks for joining us. And you are on a cup team, you said? Yes, sir. Uh -oh. All right. So you can't let fear or stress, you know, hold you back. You still got to go for it. I'm afraid of inviting people to be coaches. I'm not afraid of inviting them to be in my groups, but, but that's my well, fear right now. Well, after you get them in your group, we'll talk about this more, but after you get them in your group, that's the next logical step for them, you know? I, I talk about it like it's, it's like the waiter has brought you an amazing dinner and wouldn't you be upset if he didn't offer you dessert? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah. So don't, don't feel bad about it. All right, Nicholas, we have another Californian. Hi. How you doing? Good. You want to introduce so, yourself? My name, yeah, my name is Nicholas Shaver. And uh, I'm from Eureka, California, on the coast. And uh, I've been doing beach body workouts for a long time. Uh, I did hip hop abs, um, T25, body beast, and I'm gonna start shift shop this week. And uh, <clears throat> Greg just happened to see me in the super gym one day and he sent me an email and We've been corresponding a little bit by little bit, and um, I joined his Team Beachbody Challenge group 
for the summer and uh, and just recently he invited me to be a coach and I said, what the heck, I'll try it out. Yep, I know you as the body beast guy. I cannot see you doing hip hop abs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that's ministry? what I started with. Oh yeah, yeah, we can get a little demonstration there. That might be good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I forgot that one. It's been no. a while. Oh, maybe country heat. You can do that one. <laughs> yeah. All right, cool. All right, who do we have on the phone? Who's 908 number? Uh, I don't think you're on mute. 908-377-3586. Hi, Hi uh, Greg. It's uh, Jeff Wolf. Um, that's a New Jersey number. Okay. Um, so I don't know if, can you hear me now? Yeah, can. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, I dialed in because I'm still driving home from work, so. No I problem. Dialed in. Um, so uh, I'm based in Dallas, Texas, um, despite the New Jersey number. Uh, I work in IT, um, and I got introduced to Beachbody through Tom Scudero about three months ago. Uh, I started doing the workouts, um, and became a coach initially just for the discount, uh, on the, uh, Shakeology. Uh, and, uh, and, uh, really for me, it's, uh, it's, it's been successful. Um, and, uh, if I have the opportunity to, sh I should say about three months ago, I had a pretty bad health results. Uh, I lost my father earlier this year and Coincidentally, had some health conditions and decided to go to the, the doctor and they, you know, they said things like you're very close with your diabetes, pre-diabetes and, you know, overweight and high triglycerides and pretty much the whole metabolic syndrome. So coincidentally, a little bit after Tom had reached out to me and mentioned how he was having good results. And I thought, oh, sure, I'll give it a try. And again, signed up as a coach to get the discount. And I've been having good success with the Shakeology. Uh, lost about 10 pounds. It's nothing drastic, but, um, and been doing the workout. So for me, that really my excitement is to share that with others, uh, to have the opportunity to share that with others. And, um, you know, if I can help other people, uh, that's really kind of my motivation uh, to do that and bring other people in and introduce them to the product and, and coaching and hopefully it's a good you know builds a good cycle of uh getting people healthy and fit awesome awesome jeff so yeah i know you're up in new york with tom all the time do you just travel there a lot um no i still have family in new jersey oh. um so, but yeah i'm by and large i'm in um i used to travel yeah that, and that's the other thing so I moved to Dallas about three years, four years ago, and the job I had before, I was traveling about 80% of the time all over the country. And for me, it was almost impossible to live a, any kind of healthy <laughs> lifestyle, um, or at least I felt that way. Um, had I known about Beachbody and, and how you can do the exercises in a, in a hotel room, uh, despite traveling, I think I, I would have probably been in much better shape uh, had I've done that three years ago, but I kind of always use that excuse of um, traveling. I, you know, you're on the road, you you can't really eat in hotels and things like that, and you just eat what's there and and things like that. So I think I use that as an excuse. But uh, now I'm not traveling as much, only back to see family back east. Um, but uh, but I think that's kind of helped me kind of stick to the program in the beginning and in this past three months and more of establish a workout habit. So if I ever did go to, you know, travel again, um, I think it would be a habit. It'd be more ingrained in me. Uh, so, which is a good thing. So, um, so that, that's, uh, yeah, but I do get back once in a while to visit. I have long answer for an easy question. <laughs> <laughs> no, no problem. That's great. Awesome. All right. Thanks for sharing everyone. Um, sure. So Absolutely. So, yeah, so let um, me, I'll, I'll introduce myself, and then Brian will introduce himself, and then uh, we're the 
two leaders of this group and and this will be your first call of a series of four right we always start like at the beginning of the month and we do four calls during the month and and then we start over so um, even though we record them if you miss one you can always get a recording or you can just pick it up next month if you want to hear it again you know there's some people on the call who we're back for another time you know if you didn't get it the first time or you didn't put it into action you're always welcome to attend again so it's completely up to you um, and we also have a graduate call that happens after this call which I call our business builders call so um, typically you guys will just you know graduate from the new coach call into the business builders call and then we that's where we discuss more advanced topics um, and we have discussion leaders and we all discuss uh, you know the topic of the of the week um, you know it could be you know running free groups or, or whatever so you know if you guys want to attend those afterwards you're welcome to so anyway I am Greg Armfield as, as I we talked about I'm in Leesburg, Virginia. I've uh, been here for 25 years. Um, I've been in IT, uh, worked in IT for 23 years. Um, had a you know a great job, six figure income. I did work for you know the government, the office of the president, military, every three let letter agency. Um, so it wasn't like um, you know something that I. I wasn't happy with, but um, I just I was you know like Jeff you know um, in IT you don't you get a lot of exercise you're always behind a desk or a computer right and you're mm -hmm. traveling a lot and yeah. and I didn't get a lot of exercise and and I went to the doctor when I turned forty and he told me I was uh, you know overweight and he put me on high blood pressure medication and he said my sugar was borderline and he recommended that I start working out and uh, you know dieting so I mean for the past 20 years I had probably done Weight Watchers on and off I'd gone to the gym on and off I tried different things you know different diets and it works for a while and then it goes you know you gain it back right so uh, I saw a friend of mine he posted about P90X, right? And I searched for what is this PX90 thing, you know? And uh, I found it and I went, I didn't, you know, he wasn't a coach or anything like that. So I just uh, ordered it through beachbody.com and I started it, it, did it religiously, you know? Um, I watched all the YouTube videos because, you know, I wanted to get the best transformation possible. But anyway, you know, after. 90 days, I, um, I was able to lose the 40 pounds, lose 40 pounds. I went back to the doctor. I got off blood pressure medication, like my sugar and every, everything else returned to normal, you know, and the doctor was amazed at my results. I had also started drinking Shakeology, by the way. Um, and the doctor said, you know, Greg, your results are amazing, but you got to keep doing what you're doing. And that was the scariest part for me, because how many times has, you know, I had I, you know, reverted back and gained weight back, you know, uh, or whatever. Um, so that's when I knew I had to become a coach. Plus, I knew I wanted to save money on that Shakeology that I had started drinking because I researched it and I couldn't find any. I compared it to every other shake I could get my hands on because it was too darn expensive, you know, uh, you know, for me in my mind, you know, like, why, why would I pay $130 for this, you know? So, um, you know, I researched, I compared it to Slim Fast and, you know, any other, you know, vegan shakes that I could get my hands on. And, and then when, you know, I finally tried Shakeology last and I'm like, ah, damn it, I got to become a coach because it's so good and it has so much, you know, nutrition in it, right? 70 superfoods, nothing else can compare to it. So that and, you know, wanting to stay accountable to my fitness, I knew if I could help one person that I would, I would stay accountable, right? So I started my challenge group. And, um, you know, back six and a half years ago, I started on the message boards and I invited every single person I could find, you know, because I wanted to get as many people into this group as possible because I knew if I had a whole bunch of people in there that I would be accountable to them, right? 
and I wanted a successful group, right? And I wanted to, I wanted it to be a success. So that was my driving motivation. It wasn't making money or anything like that, but little did I know that you can actually make money in this business. You know, I mean, people started switching over to me. Um, within a couple of months, I started getting my car payment paid for. You know, I started, you know, a couple of months by the, you know, the end of the year, I started getting my house payment paid for. So that just like totally blew my mind. It's like, wow, I can do something that I'm passionate about in my spare time. Because remember, I was working 50 hours a week commuting two hours a day, family obligations, you know, kids, all that stuff, the same as you guys. But, you know, I could spend an hour or two, you know, I had to sacrifice, yep, I had to sacrifice my video games and my uh, TV time and all the other things, softball and all the other things that I used to like to do, golf, like go golfing a lot, right? Uh, you know, just think about what, what do you guys spend your time on, right? I mean, what can you cut out? You know, because if you can sacrifice now, it can pay off big later, right? You can do the things that you want to do later. Because now I can tell you, I, you know, I just hit the million dollar mark with Beachbody. I have been able to retire from my full-time job, right? I can stay at home. I work my own hours. I work when I want, where I want, from anywhere I want. I can work from my phone. I can work from my computer. So if you want a life like no one else, this is the business that can do it for you. So Brian, you want to go? Cool. That's awesome. Congrats again, Greg. Isn't that cool? A million, so six years, right? Yep, six and a half. Six and a half years and, and a million dollars. So the question is, for you, all of you guys, it's like, what would you be willing to do if six years from now someone can hand you a check for a million dollars? I mean, that's kind of what it you know comes down to. Uh, because as coaches, a lot of the work that we do in the initial, um, it doesn't, even though it, it's, it's going to bear results, sometimes it doesn't seem like it is because we're doing all this work and we're building our customers, we're trying to build our business, we're trying to battle our fear, we're trying to learn and we're getting overwhelmed right? And we don't have time. What do I do this first? But all of that is required and, it all, and, and you're going to, and if you stick with it, you're going to figure all that stuff out. And then it's, you're going to see those results like Greg was talking about with the car payment and the, and the mortgage payment. And then who knows, maybe beat Greg in four years, the million dollar club. Um, so <clears throat> congrats again, buddy. It's so awesome. Um, that's my goal. My goal too. <laughs> Uh, so, all right, my name is Brian Rolka. Um, I live in Florida. Um, I'm married to an amazing woman uh, for, we just celebrated our 19 year anniversary. Um, and I got into Beachbody for, um, for a life and death reason. Um, I grew up in New Jersey. Uh, and I grew up with, I had a, I had a great parents. Um, I had a, an older sister, an older brother. Um, but we were that family that, that was, you know, on the street that everybody, you know, we looked great on the, on the outside, you know, this awesome, awesome family. But, um, you know, what was happening on the inside wasn't so awesome. Um, my dad is an alcoholic and I grew up with that having, you know, him in the house and, and he would disappear and go on benders for days, sometimes weeks. Um, he would verbally and, and physically abuse my mom and, and my brother. He never touched me or anything. Um, I'm the youngest of the family. Uh, but it was really tough growing up. And I, and I remember growing up that I always told myself that I am not going to be like him. I am not going to be like my father. You know, I, I could see all the bad stuff that he's doing, um, how he's, you know, destroying the family. And there's no way I'm going to grow up to be like that. No way. And uh, guess what happened? I grew up to be just like my dad, uh, as far as the alcohol goes. Um, and uh, it, the gene didn't skip me. And um, I'm an alcoholic myself. And I 
suffer from depression, anxiety. Um, I was on lots of different prescription drugs for uh, Prozac, Zoloft, Xanax. Xanax was, was, was like the big one for me. Um, and, you know, I had it, I, having it under control is the wrong word, but functioning alcoholic, right? So I, I still worked and, you know, um, but as the years went on, my drinking got worse. Um, the drug use got worse. And it really came to a, a point um, when I lost my business. I had my own business. Um, I, I was a, uh, not a website designer, but I was a database builder. So I used to build databases for websites like e-commerce shopping carts. Um, so, and that was a great job for an alcoholic because I used to work from home. So it was like, you know, oh, awesome. We got a new project. I can knock this project out in like five days, uh, but I'll tell them it's going to take like three, four weeks, you know, and this way I can drink and party and go out and do whatever. And then, you know, be hungover, sleep it off and then whatever. Um, so it, it was, to me, it was a perfect job, but, you know, looking back, it was, you know, the worst job an alcoholic could ever have. Um, but so it all came to a head when the market crashed and, uh, you, you guys remember that and everything went into the tank, um, and pretty much lost my business. Uh, lots of other things were going on in my life at that time. Um, you know, all, all of our lives, we've always tried to have or always um, tried to have kids. I don't have any, we don't have any kids. Um, and that was another thing that really kind of fueled my drinking was that, you know, we, we weren't able to have kids. Um, so there's a lot of guilt, a lot of resentment, a lot of regret losing my business. So the drinking got really bad. And there was, there was some times there that it was, it, it was really, really bad. Um, where I pretty much, kind of resigned to the fact that, um, you know, that it was going to take my life. And I was fine with it. I was like, good, I'm, I'm ready for it. You know, give me more drugs, give me more booze. Um, but there were, I, I got to a crossroads where I, I told myself that I, I'm, I'm going to give myself one last chance. And I'm going to try to get help and, and see what can happen. So um, I was 39 years old. And um, before I turned 40, I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give this a shot. So I went into rehab, checked myself into rehab with the, with the expectation that none of it wasn't going to work. You know, like, you know, this, this isn't going to work for me. Um, but, but, but it did. And I learned a lot of stuff in rehab. I, I finally got clean and I got off the drugs. Um, but the real work starts when you get out. And... You know, a, a lot of the things that I learned was, you know, I, I was really pursuing that healthy mind. Where's that help? That's, that's what I want. Um, but in order to get that, I need to get that healthy body as well, because those two things, you know, they kind of work together. Uh, and at this point in my life, because of the alcohol, because of the eating completely poorly, obviously, um, I was 100 pounds overweight. I was like 260, 265 at my highest um, so when I got out of rehab, um, my wife said, you know, we're going to do this program called insanity, you know, and I'm like, insanity, I have no idea what that is, uh, but whatever, go ahead and get it. Um, so she, she ordered it and we got it and I, and I started working out and that, that was my why guys, that was my why for doing insanity for this 260 pound overweight alcoholic, uh, uh, borderline diabetic, uh, I suffered from sleep apnea, heart arrhythmias, you name it, anxiety. Um, you know, my why was, was to stay sober. That was it, that I had to replace, in my life, I had to replace all of those negative habits, those negative behaviors, those negative actions that I used to do, I had to replace them with something positive. And, and this was positive. Um, anyway, so I met Greg on the message boards because I, 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 you know, I needed to make this work. So I went to the message boards and I was, you know, asking questions and uh, Greg came along and he answered my questions and then he asked me to come join his group. 
And I said, sure, I have no idea what you're, hell you're talking about, but I'll, I'll, I'll go, I'll do it, because you know, I wanted it so bad. Um, so I did that, joined this group. It was amazing, best thing you know, that, to happen to me, because now here I am in a community of people. You guys know what it's like. Um, and it, it, was, it was just amazing. So um, got the results. Uh, I, I lost over 100 pounds using the programs, uh, Shakeology. Um, and Greg asked me to become a coach uh, quite a few times, and I kept telling him no, but thank God he didn't give up. And that's another lesson for you guys, too, if someone tells you no. Um, he just he just said, okay, you know, maybe maybe you'll be ready, you know, in a couple of weeks or a month. Can I talk to you about it then? And I said, yeah, sure, of course. Um, so I said no a few times, and I finally said yes. Um, and my why didn't change, you know, even even with coaching. And then when I became a coach, I realized, oh my God, I have the ability now to to help people. I have the ability now to make a difference in someone else's life. I have the ability now to garner that servant spirit inside me, you know, and give back. And if I could do that, if I could put everything I have into helping other people, that'll also keep me sober. That'll also keep that demon away. So that's my coaching why, and it's still my why today. So, and that's, and that's what we're going to talk about tonight is, is your, the first thing we're going to talk about is, is your why. You need to have a, no matter what you're going to do, you need to have that strong, powerful, and personal why. Because, you know, nothing, all the hows in the world are not going to help you until you know why you're doing what you're doing. Now, we're all coaches here, and our, our goal is to help people. Our goal is to, be, to have that servant spirit. That is our goal. But there's got to be more to that there's got to be something else that's driving you why do you want to help people so bad why do you want to sacrifice like greg said and not play golf anymore you know and make these sacrifices why do you want to do that it's got to be more than just helping people okay why do you want to get up at four in the morning and work on your business why do you want to stay up until one in the morning and get only a few hours sleep why do you want to not go out to dinner with, with friends that you always went out to on Friday nights. Why do you have to say, no, I can't go out because I'm starting this, this new adventure. This, I'm an entrepreneur. You know, that, that's your why. you got to dig down deep, and it's going to be different for, for all of us. You know? So my why, like I told you, is, is that I need to stay sane. I need to stay sober. Um, never going back to that other guy. But I also have some financial wise and you can't financial wise are fine. You got to have your financial wise, but if you only have financial wise, you're probably not going to do well in the business. You have to marry that financial why with, with your other stuff too. But at that time in my life, also losing my business, racking up credit card debt, almost losing our house. Uh, you know, it, 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 it was crazy. It was nuts. And, 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 you know, my wife, God bless her, you know, she stuck with me. We did separate for a little while and then we, and then we got back together, but, but not even having money to take her out to dinner, you know, that, that, that stuff sucks, you know, living paycheck to paycheck, you know, not being able to buy the groceries that we want to buy, uh, you know, it, it, it freaking sucks, you know, and then having, having that debt over your head. And for me, it was credit card debt. Um, maybe for you, it's student loans or your mortgage that payments that you're missing, or I, I don't know. But for me, it was our credit card debt. It's, it seemed like, you know, we went into default on other cards that we had. And, and before I knew it, it was like $60,000. And it's like, I'm never going to pay this off. Why am I even bothering? And then the coaching opportunity presented that, hey, this is an, an opportunity also to, to be able to help that, to help that financial side of it. Um, and it did, you know, I've been a coach now for four and a half years. Uh, I'm, I'm a star diamond coach, a lifetime three star diamond coach. Um, and it has allowed me to pay off that credit. We don't live paycheck to paycheck anymore. Uh, we, that credit card debt is zero, whatever we put on our credit cards now, which is mostly shake beach body, shake college our business fee, uh, that gets paid off every single month. So zero balances. We were able to move into a beautiful 
home. That was that that was on our vision board pretty much from the start. Once that once this business started kind of taking off for me, and like Greg said, once you know my car payment got paid for, and then the other possibilities seemed uh, within reach now. Uh, that was on the vision board was 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 to to get out of that mobile home we were in, then get out of that apartment that we were in, uh, and actually own a real home home you know some i've never owned a home before um and and that finally came true this year uh earlier in the year we, we purchased our first home um and right on the water so it's the one that we wanted and it you know it's been amazing so that's that's you know the, your why your why has to be something so big so powerful so personal that not only is it going to drive you in this business but it's got to be something that you're going to be able to share with people, sharing your story, telling your story to people, you know, and, and trust me guys, when, when I became a coach and, and Greg is my mentor and he was mentoring me um, and he was talking to me about sharing my story because he knew my story. Um, I was like, no, people are, are going to judge me and people are going to, you know, I've got customers now. What if they found out that, that, you know, I was in rehab. Oh, they're going to leave me and find another coach. You know, no, I can't, I can't tell you know, and then doing personal development obviously helped a lot. And then something a coach said to me that, 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 you know, that changed everything was he said, he said, you know, don't you dare, don't you dare leave someone else's future locked away inside your mouth. And that hit me like, whoa, don't you dare leave someone else's future locked away inside your mouth. You know, and that's when I did start sharing my story. And it was the best thing in the world because not only was it like a weight lifted off me, um, but now I was finally being honest and, with people and real with people, you know, and not having to hide that, that side of me. So it was an amazing thing to get that out there. And you know what? All the stuff that I was scared of <laughs> didn't happen. You know, instead my business flourished because I started sharing and I started attracting different people. So having that why sharing your story you know those are two of the key components to being successful in this business in any business that you're going to do i hope you guys stay with this business but in anything you're going to take on in life you know to being able to do that those are the two foundations for it i also want to say that um you know if you are in this in this business or you know if you became a coach just for the discount you know, that is perfectly fine too. I mean, you don't have to be a business builder like me and Brian. You don't have to be working, you know, towards big goals and dreams. It's worth it to be a coach just for the discounts, right? You know, so, so, so don't think that I, cause I have, I have this happen all the time. I had a, a brand new coach who signed up last month and today she quit because she says that she doesn't know anyone who wanted to buy, you know, anything from her. Well, that's normal, you guys, you know? And, and even, even so, like, I mean, like me and Brian, we both, we weren't even on Facebook. We had, you know, like a few family members on Facebook. We didn't have anybody that wanted to buy from us either. That's completely normal, you know? And, um, yeah. But, you know, it's just people, they, they get their confidence dashed. They think they're going to be awesome at this. And, and they got some people that tell them no, and then they just quit. And, and you got to understand that this, this opportunity is such an amazing opportunity for you, whether you sell anything or not. Like for me, I would be a coach whether I made a dime at this or not, you know, because I get to help so many people. I mean, I helped Brian lose 100 pounds, get off of drugs and alcohol. I mean... Have you ever been able to do that? You know, I mean, you, you can save somebody's life in this business. Plus, for me personally, it keeps me accountable, right? That's why I started and it gives me a discount, right? So those are, those are the reason I got into this business and those, have, those will never change, right? Regardless of whether I get told no or I, I can't sell anything or, or whatever, those are the reasons that you guys got into this business or whatever your reason was, that's not going to change. So remember that. Okay. Um, let's move on. Cause we're running out of time. We have, 
we're going to talk about the four vital behaviors. Okay, now this is what um, he has come up with as you know the four things that you need to do to be successful in this business. Okay, and you know, assuming that you guys want to to be successful and uh, to be more than a discount coach, I'll say that you know, uh, this is what you want to do. And, and number one is being proof of the product. You guys have probably heard that before. I know a lot of businesses say that, but it's, it's really true of Beachbody, right? You need to be pressing play every day, you know, or, or streaming your workout, you know, doing your workout. You need to be drinking ecology, right? Or, you know, daily sunshine or performance line, whatever you're, you know, whatever, that you're doing, you, you, you need to be doing that, right? And showing people that, um, you know, you are living proof that the product works because you've lost 10 pounds or you've lost, you know, 100 pounds. It doesn't matter what, you know, you can still be on your journey and you're going to inspire so many people in this business. Um, and, and, you know, through support and, and coaching, uh, you, you can show that, you know, that this works, beach body works, right? Um, and you can be proof of that. And that's going to make people want to, to follow you. You're going to inspire people. You're going to motivate people and people are going to want to follow you because you're doing what they see is successful, right? And it doesn't matter if you've only lost 10 pounds, you're still more successful than they are, right? And you're still you're still what they want to be doing, okay? So, um, you know, I tell people, like, I have some guys that um, they sign up with me as a coach, and then the only thing I see them posting is them at the gym lifting weights. You know, they're not, you wouldn't even know that they're a coach. You know, they're not talking about doing body beasts at the gym because that would be cool. They're just lifting weights, you know? And it's like, how is that being proof of the product, right? So, you know, definitely... You know, and you guys may be already probably in a challenge group, right? Where you're probably already sharing about what you're doing, right? In that group and you're sharing your healthy meals and you're sharing, um, which is the next vital behavior, but we're not getting there yet. But I'm just saying that you're, you're already living proof of the product, but I bet you're not sharing it with your friends yet. I bet you're not sharing it on your timeline yet. I bet you're not telling other people about it. So you got to be proof of the product and sharing it with people, which brings us to point number two. You want to cover that one, Brian? Sure. Uh, number two, it used to be invite, 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 but uh, we kind of um, broke it down into its components. So it's four pieces right now, and that's share, attract, connect, and then invite. Um, and as Greg was saying, being able to share your your passion, you know, your passion about the products, being proof of those products, and the products, like Greg mentioned, you know, push and play and Shakeology and any perform anything that you're using, but also the community that we belong to, the amazing Beachbody community, our support groups, the coaching opportunities are all products. Um, you know, so you're sharing that. You know, you have to be sharing that, and through the process of sharing that, you're going to attract um, people to you. That's going to happen, and usually, what you're going to do is you're going to attract people who are just like you. So if you're sharing and if you're, you know, being personal, if you're being real, um, you, you know, with, with, you can, you don't have to share like your, your story every single day and this, but you know, share your life, share your life with people. It doesn't always have to be beach body, but you're sharing yourself. You're sharing your life with people. And then you're, that's going to attract people to you. I can tell you my customer base is not, you know, 21 year old college girls, you know, wanting to do Autumn Calabrese, there's millions of them out there, but they have coaches who are also 21, 22, you know, so you are going to attract, you know, the people who are like you. Um, the third piece of that is connect. And that's when you actually start to do the connection process between you and somebody that you have attracted to you. And these vital behaviors, you know, we do them every single day. Um, but it could happen in, you know, with one person, different, you know, the time is different. You're sharing, you're attracting, you're connecting. Uh, and then the final piece of that is inviting. You're inviting them to, uh, to, to these products. You're inviting them to this lifestyle, inviting them into the community, inviting them into the challenge groups, um, and inviting them, you know, into the coaching opportunity. 
Um, so those are that, and like I said, these are vital behaviors. If you're going to grow your business and grow your customer base and grow your coaches and your downline, uh, that's what you need to be doing as coaches. This is what we do every day. We're proof of the product and we share it. We attract other people. We connect with those people and we invite those people. Yeah. And, uh, don't worry guys. Cause next week we are going to dive deeper into how to invite right? Like get into social media and handling objections and follow up and tracking and all that stuff. So if you're like, you know, if that's the question, like, how do I do that? You right. know, you just got to come back next week. Um, so the, the third vital behavior is personal development. Okay. So personal development, this one, um, most people are resistant to, I know Brian was very resistant for a long time. Um, but this is like uh, working on yourself, right? And, and personal development could be um, listening to the National Wake Up Call, which is every week. So um, do you guys all know what the National Wake Up Call is? Okay. Uh, if you don't, it's Beachbody puts on a call every Monday today at um, 10 o'clock Eastern time. Um, but don't worry, you can't listen live. It, there's a podcast, there's a playback number that you can call, um, or you can go to the back office and you can download an MP3. But every single week, it's great because they give you announcements and they have a top coach in the company. Um, sometimes they have new coaches, but they have a coach who gives you, uh, you know, some type of training, some type of coach training. Um, so there's, there's coach training, there's these calls, there are business builder calls. Those are all forms of personal development, but also there's books, you know, just self-help books, mental leadership, uh, organization, time management, you know, whatever you need to work on, you know, whatever you fear, like if you fear getting started, if you fear talking to people, if, if you struggle with social media, get books on those, you know? Just figure out what is holding you back, you know, whatever it is, and then go research, find some good books on that, talk to people. I mean, me and Brian or whoever, we know lots of books, um, lots of different authors. There's audio, like if you say, I don't have time to read, like that was me, right? I did not have time to read, okay? So my thing was I discovered Audible. Seriously, I didn't even know what Audible was until I became a coach, you know, and I got Audible and that is the best thing in the world because I, like I mentioned, I had a two hour commute and what did I do during my two hour commute? I listened to the mindless, mind numbing radio. Okay. Not after I became a coach. After I became a coach, I listened to personal development for one to two hours a day. You know, um, I, I, I would typically listen to personal development on the way in and then I would call people on the way home. You know, that worked for me, but you can get any book just about on audio. Um, also podcasts. There are so many awesome podcasts. Shalene Johnson has an awesome podcast. Uh, you guys know Shalene Johnson is right. Pio and turbo fire. She, she has an amazing business mind. Um, Gary Vaynerchuk is one of my favorites. Um, but there, there's so many, but, um, anyway, Brian, do you have a, what's your personal book favorite that you would recommend? Oh, wow. Um, well, I'll tell you when I, like Greg said, when, when I was doing the first started coaching and, and Greg was telling me about this vital behavior, I was like, nah, I'll just, you know, learn stuff on my own. I, I, I you know, I'll, I'll, I'll be able to figure this, figure things out, you know, but the, the, eventually what I realized was that I, I, I wanted to be successful and, and, I, and I saw the picture of myself that that's the person that I wanted to be. And I finally said to myself, shit, I don't know how to get to that person. So I'm gonna need personal development. I'm gonna have to figure out, this is the person I wanna become, how am I gonna get there? Uh, and, and that's when I decided that, and plus all the top coaches, they all kept saying, you know, uh, personal development is the reason why they're a top coach and the reason why they're at where they're at. And I was like, well, crap, I got to do, if I want to be like them, you know, that successful, then I'm going to follow what they're telling me to do. So if personal development is that important. I'm going to do it. So anyway, uh, probably the first book that 
that, that really um, um, opened my eyes on how things work is the compound effect. Uh, so I think that is every coach is a new coach. That is the one book that you that needs to be in your arsenal for personal development is the Compound Effect by Darren Hardy. Uh, it, it's just amazing. Um, there's other personal books that you know the Compound Effect is great. Um, he gives you all the tools that you need in there. He explains what it is. He talks about why your why is important, your habits. Uh, you know. But then I like other books that um, will, will inspire you and motivate you and, and kind of give you a message. But then they're also, you know, really cool and fun to read fictional stories. So the second one I recommend is The Traveler's Gift by Andy Andrews, which is an amazing journey uh, that you'll, this guy that goes on this amazing journey. Um, and you get to go on it with him, uh, and it's just amazing, and, and you're gonna learn all of these different lessons to be successful, the seven decisions for success. So the Travelers, those are the two that I recommend for new coaches, the Compound Effect and the Traveler's Gift. Um, that fourth vital behavior, now this didn't used to be a vital behavior, they added it about a year ago, um, but it didn't matter because we were all doing it anyway, but they said, well, we'll throw it in there too, even though everyone's doing it, uh, and that's recognition. Uh, so as coaches, um, you know, we, we need to recognize, we, we recognize our challengers for accomplishments and successes and for their wins. And I always say there's no recognition too small or too big. Um, I, what was it, Jeff, uh, he mentioned when he was talking um, nonchalantly too about losing 10 pounds. And I'm like, damn, that's awesome, brother. <laughs> you know, 10 pounds, you know how many people would love to lose 10 pounds? You know, and you did it, so be proud of that, you know. But anyway, you know, recognize, you know, you might have a challenger that, um, you know, for the first time they successfully did a meal prep, you know, or they ate, they ate a salad instead of ordering pizza, recognize that, you know. So always be looking to recognize uh, accomplishments, big or small, from, from other people, your challengers and your coaches especially your coaches and we're huge with uh, team engage and, and I'm engaged revolution uh, you know with recognizing our coaches for all of their accomplishments success club uh, you know going up in rank um, are, are just you know working you know doing taking action and, and working the business uh, you know so recognition is is key and Beachbody <clears throat> does tons and tons of recognition the company itself uh, and, and they like to recognize us through um, a wake-up call, or, or through, but, but mostly a lot of it is, is incentive programs, you know, giving us more money, right? That, that's pretty cool recognition, uh, or sending us prizes, or sending us on free trips, uh, you know, so um, it, it comes from the top recognition, and then it comes down to us, and we do it too. Okay, uh, finally, I'm posting in the chat window and you know we can give this to you on facebook as well but um there's some useful links here one is a why to help you develop your why um seven levels deeper of a why um if you guys want to click on these you can bookmark them or copy and paste them into a notepad or whatever uh, so use that document to help you develop your why. There is a MP3 call, which you can add to your personal development list um, from Carl Deichler on the four vital behaviors that we talked about tonight. And he is the CEO of Beachbody and he's so passionate and I, you know, highly recommend, you know, listening to his call. Um, the third link that I gave you is... Um, personal development audiobooks. So I've collected a whole bunch of audiobooks like Compound Effect that Brian talked about, um, and they're all on Dropbox, okay? And you guys can, can have at them, okay? And so if you are like me and you have a commute or you have idle time where you're cooking dinner or doing laundry, start listening to personal development, and there's a lot of different books on there that you can listen to. Um, GoPro is another one of my favorites that I highly recommend for new coaches. Um, and that one's on there too. Um, and then the last link is how to share your coaching business and sharing your story. So it's a, it's a Google doc, um, that you can look at because you guys do need to start sharing 
on social media that you are a coach now and you need to start talking to people and you want to do that by sharing your story and you know sharing that that you are a coach and why you're a coach and what Beachbody's done for you even if it's only to you know help you lose 10 pounds so far that's still a, a, an awesome story so you guys can can do you know get those links and do those that's your homework for the week and you can start on those and we will see you next Monday, all right? <clears throat> awesome. Thank you, guys. Have a good night. Thank you. This was a good call. Thanks. All right.